Nicholas van Verendale. Nicholas van Verendale or Nicholas van Verendale Antwerp, 1640 Antwerp, 1691, was a Flemish painter active in Antwerp who is mainly known for his flower paintings and vanities still lifes. He was a frequent collaborator of other Antwerp artists to whose compositions he added the still life elements. He also painted a number of sceneries, i.e. scenes with monkeys dressed and acting as humans. Life Nicolese van Verendale was baptized in the St. Andrew's Church in Antwerp on 19 February 1640. He trained with his father Willem van Verendale. He was not formally registered as a pupil at the Antwerp Guild of St. Luke, but was admitted to the Guild as the son of a member in 1657. He married Katharina van Beveren, the 17-year-old daughter of the prominent Antwerp sculptor Matthias van Beveren. The couple has 11 children, one of whom was born after the death of the artist. Despite his high reputation among fellow artists, van Verendale was never out of financial trouble as he was a slow worker. As a result, he lived modestly. He was the teacher of someone referred to as Priest Cano and the flower painter Jean Baptiste Moore. Work General Van Verendale mainly painted flower pieces, vanitas still lifes, and a few allegorical scenes with monkeys. His dated works are from the period between 1659 and 1690. He was highly regarded from an early age. He was in demand as a collaborator working with some of the leading Antwerp painters, such as David Teniers, the Younger, Gonzalez Cox, Erasmus Quellinus Roman II, Jan Bokhorst, Karsten Likes, and Jan Davids. To him, Virendale is known to have collaborated with other artists on works that expanded on the pure flower still lifes of his particular expertise. Flower Paintings His early work shows the influence of the leading Antwerp flower still life painter Daniel Seckers, but he used more and stronger and more contrasting colors. His early flower paintings depicted small, bright, graceful bouquets and tall, narrow vases or cartouches and garlands surrounding a religious figure or scene. These garland paintings had been an invention by Jan Bruegel the Elder dating to the beginning of the 17th century and were usually collaborations between a still life and a figure painter. An example of a work by Van Verendale in this genre is the garland surrounding the Virgin Mary Prado, Madrid a collaboration with an unknown collaborator. The central motif is a sculpture rather than a painting of the Madonna as was more common. The garland of flowers is represented in groups rather than in a circle and is thus representative of the later evolution of this genre. The subject of the exaltation of the figure of Mary was a response to Protestant beliefs and is reinforced by the inscription Ego Flows can be I am the flower of the field at the foot of the bust. Later, he was influenced by Jan Davids. To him, Van Verendale developed towards a brisker brushstroke in his later years, and he found a personal style that was a forerunner of Flemish flower painting in the 18th century. Some of his still lifes include insects. Vanities Verendale painted a number of still lifes with a vanities motif. Vanitas still lifes were very popular in the 17th century in Flanders and the Dutch Republic. The objects in these still lifes evoke the transient nature of earthly goods and pursuits, the role of chance in life and its apparent meaninglessness. Stock symbols expressing these ideas include skulls, extinguished candles, empty glasses, wilting flowers, dead animals, smoking utensils, watches, mirrors, books, dice, playing cards, hourglasses and musical instruments, musical scores, various expensive or exclusive objects, such as jewelry and rare shells. The term vanities is derived from the famous line vanities, vanities. At omnia vanities in the Vulgate translation of the Book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible. In the King James Version this line is translated as vanity of vanities, all is vanity. These vanities paintings were informed by a Christian understanding of the world as a temporary place of ephemeral pleasures and torments, 
from which humanity's only hope of escape had been offered by the sacrifice and resurrection of cry. While most of these symbols reference earthly accomplishments, books, scientific instruments, etc., pleasures a pipe, sorrows symbolized by a peeled lemon, the transience of life and death skulls, soap bubbles, empty shells, and the role of chance in life dice and playing cards, some symbols used in these paintings carry a jewel meaning, a rose or an ore of an example of a vanitas still life by Verendale is the vanitas with skulls Musi des Beaux Arts de Keen. The painting shows similarities with another vanitas work called Vanitas Still Life with a bunch of flowers, a candle smoking implements, and a skull in the Galleria Franchetti at the Codoro, Venice dated 1679. The vanitas elements in the latter work have been attributed to the Antwerp painter Hendrik Andersen. Both paintings contain the token vanitas symbols, such as the candlestick, pipe and pipe cleaner, wilted flowers, crumpled up books. The skull too may be one, and the same. In the Venice painting vanitas symbols, such as the drop of water, and the soap bubble are included. Singeries Nicolese van Verendale contributed to the spread of the genre of the monkey scene, also called singery word, which in French means a comical grimace, behavior or trick, or trick. Comical scenes with monkeys appearing in human attire and a human environment are a pictorial genre. The Flemish engraver Pieter van der Borcht introduced the scenery as an independent theme around 1575 in a series of prints, which are strongly embedded in the artistic tradition of Pieter Brugel the Elder. These prints were widely disseminated, and the theme was then picked up by other Flemish artists, in particular by those in Antwerp, such as Franz Franken the Younger, Jan Bruegel the Elder, and the Younger, Sebastien de Ranks, and Jan van Kessel the Elder. David Teniers the Younger became the principal practitioner of the genre, and developed it further with his younger brother Abraham Teniers. Later in the 17th century, Nicolaes van Verendale started to paint these monkey scenes as well as he had collaborated with David Teniers the Younger in Antwerp. An example is the Monkey Feast, which reprises the theme of the king drinks with the human roles played by monkeys. Another example is the Merry Company, or Singery Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium, which depicts monkeys reveling in an inn. A considerable number of paintings and additional drawings of singeries by Verendale has been identified on the art market and in private collections.